Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And my cooking system has four components. They are flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. And among these four components, a flavor chasing is most important. For many people who just start to cook, a flavor sometimes appears to be mysterious because you don't know which components are responsible for the flavor. For example, if you had a dish in a restaurant or in somebody's house, how did you go home and recreate it? In this video, I'm going to show you a simple strategy that is reliable and you will find it extremely efficient to achieve the flavor that you love. I believe there are two things uh, that will help you to make home cooking uh, to become part of your daily routines that you enjoy cooking and you want to keep cooking. Uh, number one is to create a food that you love. Number two is that it is efficient. And there is always a fine balance between these two. Uh, if you are efficient but you don't like the food that you cook, uh, then you probably will not continue. However, uh, if you love the food that you cook, but it takes way more time than you're willing to put in, and this also will not work. Uh, so the goal is to find a fine a balance between the two, uh, that you spend enough time that uh, you think it is appropriate for your lifestyle, at the same time uh, that you're able to create a flavor that you love uh, without going into too much work beyond what you are willing to put in. Uh, the lack of this balance is illustrated in Jonathan's case. Uh, Jonathan loves teriyaki chicken. Uh, Jonathan found online a recipe how to make the teriyaki sauce. The teriyaki sauce from this recipe is quite complicated. Altogether, it requires 9 ingredients. Uh, it takes Jonathan about 10 minutes to gather all the ingredients and mix them together. And because of the complexity and time-consuming nature in making this teriyaki sauce, uh, Jonathan only made this teriyaki chicken about uh, two or three times uh, before he gave up on it. One time, Jonathan came to uh, have dinner with uh, my wife and I, and I made a teriyaki chicken for him, and he really liked the sauce, and he asked me how I make it. And I told him that it uh, takes me only 30 seconds to make this sauce. Uh, there are many ways to create a sauce, and the best method is to uh, create it from scratch, uh, because this will give you the greatest flexibility uh, to adjust individual components in the sauce uh, to tailor it exactly the way how you like it. Jonathan did it the right way. Uh, the problem is that it takes time. Most people today simply uh, don't have the time. So uh, it's inevitable that we want to take shortcuts. Uh, this to lead to the creation of the sauce industries, uh, that many companies start to create sauces uh, to fit particular flavor. Now you go to the supermarket, you will find many different kinds of sauces that are specifically to create the characteristics of certain dishes. For example, you have teriyaki sauce, sweet and sour sauce, kung pao sauce, and the list is almost endless. Therefore, if you want to create a teriyaki chicken dish, all you have to do is to purchase a bottle of teriyaki sauce and you add the sauce to the stir-fry. And without any question, it is very convenient, but the problem is that with the convenience, you lost control. So in this video, I would like to show you how I create a teriyaki sauce that will give me both the convenience as well as the control at the same time. Instead of creating flavor that's restricted by the sauce, I able to find a way to bypass that and still retain the creativity to create the sauce that I want. Uh, today, there are many sauces on the market. Therefore, the strategy is to take advantage of these different sauces, of their different characteristics, and combine them uh, to create the ultimate outcome that you are looking for. 
When I create teriyaki chicken, instead of using one teriyaki sauce, I will use a combination of different sauces. And by taking advantage how they are different from each other, I will be able to structure them in such a way as to create the perfect teriyaki flavor that I am looking for. So let me explain to you how this works. When I look into my refrigerator, I would have about six to eight different sauces that I use on a regular basis. And I divide them into what I call basic sauces, and then I will have specialty sauces. I have three sauces in my refrigerator I consider them to be basic sauces. They are number one, soy sauce, number two, hoisin sauce, and number three, oyster sauce. And the reason that soy sauce is the most basic sauce is because soy sauce is used generally to add salt to the dish. However, because of the fermentation of soybean in creating the soy sauce, it also adds some level of umami flavor. And nevertheless, the saltiness is its primary characteristic. And therefore, you can consider it to be a general purpose sauce. And the second general purpose sauce is oyster sauce. Uh, oyster sauce also adds a saltiness to the dish, but oyster sauce is very rich in umami flavor. Therefore, it will make the dish more savory. And the third general purpose sauce is hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce characteristics is its sweetness. It has a slight fruitiness uh, to the sauce, and it makes it excellent uh, for adding the sugar to the dish. A uh, hoisin sauce is also rich in umami. It will make the dish more savory. If you use only one sauce, such as soy sauce, oyster sauce, or hoisin sauce by itself, uh, you will find that each time when you cook a dish with uh, just one sauce, uh, they all will seem to be tasting alike. And when you combine all these three different sauces, you will change the flavor characteristics of the dish. Now, I think it is uh, understandable that if you add one part of each of these three sauces uh, to the dish, it uh, will be very different if you vary the ratios between them. For example, if you add one part of soy sauce with uh, four parts of oyster sauce and one part of uh, hoisin sauce, uh, you will receive a very different flavor characteristic. Therefore, with only just three sauces, uh, by changing the ratio among them, uh, you can create many different flavor characteristics, and you can use it uh, to flavor different kinds of dishes. For example, you can use a different ratio for chicken, another ratio for shrimp, and another ratio for vegetables. Uh, for many years, I used only these three sauces to flavor my dishes, and by varying the ratios among them, I can create many different kinds of a flavor. However, I'm limited by what I can do, and I then discovered that if I use other pre-made sauces which has their own flavor characteristics and add to my existing sauce combination, I can create even greater variations. Consequently, the flavor of my dishes has become more diverse, more interesting, and in many ways more creative. I'm able to um, create the type of flavor that I have never had before. When I created teriyaki chicken for Jonathan, I started with my three basic sauces, that is soy sauce, oyster sauce, and hoisin sauce. And then I touch it up with uh, two additional sauces. Uh, one is a store-made teriyaki sauce. Uh, another one is also a, a store-bought uh, orange chicken sauce. Uh, when I combine all these five sauces together uh, in different quantity, it turned out that I was able to create a teriyaki dish that are unique to the flavor that I am looking for. Because I have been using these five different kinds of sauces, the flavor is much deeper and complex. 
And the result is a teriyaki sauce, in my opinion, than any other teriyaki sauce that I have tasted before. And Jonathan happened to like it as well. So right now, uh, in my refrigerator, uh, I have six different sauces that I use uh, to create flavor for my dish. I have the three basic sauces, that is uh, soy sauce, oyster sauce, and hoisin sauce. And then I have a teriyaki sauce uh, made by a company called Kinders. And then I have a uh, sweet chili sauce, uh, which is made by Panda Express. And the third sauce is the orange sauce made by Panda Express, uh, which make their orange chicken famous. I use these three sauces as touch-up sauces, which means that I only add a small amount uh, to adjust the final flavor of the dish after I season the dish with soy sauce, oyster sauce, and hoisin sauce. Uh, quite often, I will use a combination of these three touch-up sauces together as well uh, in creating certain type of flavor in a particular dish. And this is the reason why I can create my teriyaki dish so quickly uh, because all I have to do is just to pour different sauces into the wok and then I do a taste test and to adjust it to exactly how I like it. After Jonathan adopted my method for seasoning his teriyaki chicken dish, uh, he has been cooking teriyaki chicken almost two or three times a week. And by using this simple method uh, in making adjustment to the amount of these six different sauces that he add to his uh, teriyaki chicken dish, he was able to create the sauce exactly how he liked it. And the most important thing is that it saved him a lot of time. I post a video each day uh, to help you to make home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun. Uh, because only when you're able to cook it with efficiency and create a flavor that you love, you will continue to cook. Uh, so keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.